Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Efra Education, India's first happy learning ecosystem. So, this is Sasmiya Rashid for you. We are going to discuss about Walt Whitman. American literature is an important figure of Walt Whitman. So, we can look at what all things we need to study about Walt Whitman from the perspective of UGC Net English. Okay, so coming to Walt Whitman, starting with and before going to the topic, let me tell you about a free guidance group. If you are interested in this video, we will provide a free guidance group for AFN and it is for paper 1 as well as paper 2 and the QR code is here. You can scan it and you can join the free guidance group soon. And we will be providing you with learning materials as well as classes as well as questions, question papers etc. Free tests etc. etc. Very much free for you without any cost. So you can join by scanning this, either scanning this code otherwise you can get the link from the description box. Okay, so coming to the topic, Walt Whitman. So, we are in America literature, we are very influential and important figure of Walt Whitman, isn't it? So, he was the greatest inspiration for Emerson, Thoreau, etc. etc. One of the writers who are influential and the writer who is Walt Whitman and American poets are still celebrated still now. Considered as the national poet of America. One word quotes, one word caring, one word celebrity, one word poet, Walt Whitman. And he glorified democracy as well as individualism. We would be studying about his elegy on Abraham Lincoln. So he was truly political. And he glorified democracy as well as individual aspects, individualism, personal identity, etc. And he is widely considered as the American father of free words. He wrote his poetry uh, using free words. Free words poetry is So he is known as the American father of free words. And he is famous for his poetry collection, Leaves of Grass. Our time uh, during the time of the publication it was very controversial. And later on it got, it got acceptance and still celebrated enough. And the term celebrated in the poetry collection is Leaves of Grass. And the title of Passage to India of Nirathi Chaudhary is taken from Leaves of Grass. That's a question for you. Nirathi Chaudhary's Passage to India is taken from Leaves of Grass. Okay, so coming to the next regarding Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman had his own newspaper. He founded a newspaper of his own titled Long Island. And he served as the editor, publisher, press man and distributed. He, he, he done a lot of roles for this newspaper named Long Island. Okay. So in 1861, he published his poem Beat, Beat, Beat Drums. And it was a patriotic call for the North. He glorified democracy, nationalism, individualism, etc. And this was a truly nationalistic collection. Beat, beat, beat drum. It was a call for patriotic action from the north part of America. Okay, so I have given you two names here. So, I have given the newspaper as well as his poetry collection that represents or that dedicated for nationalism. Now, coming to his major collection that is Leaves of Grass. That is a major collection on Leaves of Grass published in 1855. And the title was taken from the poet by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Emerson is the poet in Anna. He took this title, Leaves of Grass. And the first edition was published in Brooklyn. 12 poems in the collection of Brooklyn. 12 poems in the collection of Leaves of Grass. And actually he travelled a lot. One of the travels and journeys of the writer is Walt Whitman. Our traveling experience, America, various parts of our traveling experiences are he consolidated into Leaves of Grass. Travels through American frontier and admiration for Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay, and he kept revising Adeham to the end of his life. Adeham to the end of his life, Adeham to the end of his life, Adeham to the end of his life, Adeham to the end of his life. Our 12 poems started at the end of the deathbed, it had 400 poems. 400 poems is the end of it. That's the most important collection. He was revising and revising and adding many poems with that. Deathbed is where they have added it. And 12 becomes 400. Okay. So now coming to the next one from Leaves of Grass. 
and adle etu important poems ora koduthirund idella very important works aanu so whenever you are studying about wall whitman go through all these poems and starting with song of myself i sing the body electric and out of the cradle endlessly rocking nammal oru vaadu vere padikina poem aanu then oh captain my captain where he describes abraham lincoln and when lilac glanced in the dooryard bloom which is also an elegy for the death of uh, abraham lincoln he was truly political patriotic and nationalistic okay these are the famous poem that includes in the collection leaves of grass and this one out of the cradle endlessly rocking oh captain my captain when lilac glanced in the dooryard bloom all these are important and starting with song of myself we can have a look through regarding song of myself leaves of grass in the first edition il vandittulla poem aanu ee or song of myself annu parayunnathu and uh, regarding the title it doesn't have any title up to 1855 edition aa oru 1855 edition il title undayirunnilla 1856 la it was called a poem of wall with man an american ഓക്കെ അങ്ങനെയാണ് എയ്റ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റിയിൽ ഫൈവ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഹി ഗേവ് ദി ടൈറ്റിൽ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്ന റിവൈസ് ചെയ്ത് വന്നിട്ടുള്ളതാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു സോ റിവൈസ് ചെയ്ത സമയത്ത് ഇൻ എയ്റ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഹി ഗേവ് ദി ടൈറ്റിൽ എ പോമ ഓഫ് വോൾ വിത്ത് മാൻ ആൻഡ് അമേരിക്കൻ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ ടൈറ്റിൽ ഗിവൺ ഇൻ എയ്റ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ലേറ്റർ ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സിംപ്ലി ടേം ഡസ് വോൾ വിത്ത് മാൻ പിന്നീട് പിന്നീട് അതിന് വോൾ വിത്ത് മാൻ എന്ന് മാത്രമായിട്ട് ആ ഒരു പോയത്തിന്റെ പേര് മാറി സോ ആക്ച്വലി സോങ് ഓഫ് മൈ സെൽഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ഹ്യൂമൻ സെക്ഷുവാലിറ്റി തീം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഹ്യൂമൻ സെക്ഷുവാലിറ്റി ആണ് Okay, regarding Song of Myself. The important thing is that it was part of the first edition. 1855 edition is the poem that is the Song of Myself. And I am saying that it is already a human experience, a human sexuality theme. So it uses the powerful eye. Because he was truly, uh, truly supported individualism. So it is a factor that is important that it is a factor that is important that it 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 is Okay, hope to see is not till death. WB is for the world, WB is for the world, uh, getting age physically, but not mentally and politically. That's why he is describing about his 37 years. And he says that hoping to see is till death. Okay, so that's about song of myself. And now we are moving to when Lila glass in the Doria Blue. Very important poem. and lincoln abraham lincoln was actually assassinated in 1865 a assassination kind of him edited a poem on a our american civil war time le uh, american civil war the end lana abraham lincoln got assassinated so after that incident he wrote the poem when lilac last in the dooryard blue lilac is an unconventional pastoral elegy in three parts abraham lincoln edited a elegy on when lilac uh, last in the dooryard blue men varayunnathu and it is written in three parts first part la nu parayunnathu he says that uh, the last time lilacs bloom cheyina samayathu he saw a great star okay uh, lilacs bloom lilacs ekke ekke mathre bloom cheyarullo adu bloom cheyina samayathu he uh, view he saw a great star a great star nu parayunnathu lingan aanu western style so ipo uh, avaru last time la lilacs bloom cheyina samayathu uh, abraham lingan undarunnu so pinnidu lilacs bloom cheyina samayathu aa lilac kaanana samayathu the poet gets very much sad the poet is getting grief karan uh, abraham lincoln illa okay so every spring lilacs will fill his heart with gloom ini or uh, western star aayittaan ipo abraham lincoln ullathu so that's the first part goes with and going to the second part he describes the mournful journey of uh, lincoln's coffin lincoln's coffin assassinate cheyidana appo lincoln's coffin kondu vaya samayathu washington dc nu lincoln's our hometown like illinois like kondu vaya samayathu a lot of people accompanied that with a, a loaded heart valare grateful aayittulla valare sangadam thonna oru moment aayirunnu aa oru oru aa oru journey nu parayunnathu so he describes that journey in the second part and coming to the third part uh, he gained a secret knowledge of the death and he says that th- this song seems very soothing and very lovely karam aa oru aa oru death what he got adapted with that death 
ആദ്യത്തെയും യു ക്യാൻ സി ഹി കാണ്ട് ഡാബ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് അഡാപ്റ്റ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് സെക്കൻഡിലും ആ ഒരു മോർണിംഗ് കാണാൻ പറ്റും തേർഡിലേക്ക് വരുമ്പോൾ ഹി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് അഡാപ്റ്റ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് അതുപോലെ അഡാപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് തേർഡ് വൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ വൺ ലാക്സ് ബ്ലൂം എന്ന് പറയുന്നതിൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ എലജി ഫോർ എബ്രഹാം ലിങ്കൺ എബ്രഹാം ലിങ്കൻ്റെ അസാസിനേഷനുള്ള എലജി ആണ് ഈ ഒരു തേർഡ് ഈ ഒരു വൺ ലാക്സ് ബ്ലൂം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇതേപോലെയുള്ള നമ്മുടെ മെറ്റീരിയൽസും ഇതേപോലെ നമ്മുടെ ക്ലാസ്സും കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ജോയിൻ അവർ ഫ്രീ ഗൈഡൻസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഐഫ് വിൽ ബി പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് വിത്ത് ഫ്രീ ലേണിംഗ് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ഫ്രീ ക്ലാസ്സസ് ഫ്രീ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രീ മോക്ക് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രീ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പേഴ്സ് എക്സെട്രാ എക്സെട്രാ ത്രൂ ദിസ് ഗൈഡൻ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ക്യു ആർ കോഡ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ദയർ പേപ്പർ വണ്ണിൻ്റെ ക്യു ആർ കോഡ് ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ദയർ ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ ഗോ ടു ദി ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ബോക്സ് ആൻഡ് ടേക്ക് ദി ലിങ്ക് ഫ്രം ദയർ ആൻഡ് ജോയിൻ ദി വാട്സപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സൂൺ ഓക്കെ നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ മെറ്റീരിയൽസും ഫ്രീ ആയിട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാ മെറ്റീരിയൽസും എയ്ഫറിൻ്റെ അവിടെ അവൈലബിൾ ആവുന്നതായിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ സോ ഇതേപോലെയുള്ള ഇൻഫോർമേറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ക്ലാസ്സസ് കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഇതേപോലെയുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് സോ ലൈക്ക് ഷെയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് അവർ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ടുഡേ താങ്ക് യു